It's Friday and it's time to jog or walk or ride bikes and that's fun. But I will say this as a motorist, I'll say this delicately, gently. Uh, do you have problems with bicyclists? They fly by just as you wait and wait and wait for the cars to finally go away. You wait and wait, they finally clear. You start to put your foot on the gas and here comes the bicyclist. I mean, there's near death experiences that way. Same with joggers, same with bicyclists. I understand they have a, a right uh, to be there and motorists shouldn't be hogging up and polluting the earth. I understand all that stuff. But I'll say this, having driven quite a bit in the winter time with ice and snow, when you're waiting for the cars to clear when there's ice and snow and the bicyclist is, I always wonder, why can they, how can they do this when there's ice and snow? They're still riding their bike. Aren't they gonna slip and just wipe out? If I rode my bike in the ice and snow, I would wipe out and be like a giant vanilla marshmallow and people would laugh. I mean, I just don't know how it works. All I'm asking bicyclists to do is if you're gonna say we want equal rights, equal access, the right of way, all that good stuff. Seagull Road on the west side, the bike lane I think is as wide or wider than the motorist lane. If you notice this, I'm saying at least observe the stop signs, observe the red lights, the green lights, just play by the rules like motorists. Otherwise, if you fly by and you cheat, then you're gonna make people like me get upset. My two cents, my two minutes, I brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction, Mike Tuig and his staff, who can read your kitchen, your basement, your bathroom, your staircase, make your home feel just like home. We can talk about this and more Monday at eight on the Mitch Hank Show on madisontalks.com.